I think you're gonna be the dehydrating queen. Good morning, T-Birds. How y'all doing? Come on out. Don't be shy. I like to hear those guys gobble. Somebody said you can make them do it by making noise. Similar? Let's try that. Gobble, 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 gobble. That didn't work. Okay, another person. One of you people in the comments, maybe you want to make me look like a fool. I don't know. But you said you can scream and they'll gobble. Ha! Ah! <laughs> they jumped too, but they didn't gobble. Somebody else said there's an app on the phone. So I downloaded that app. It's called Turkey Calling Adult Hen Assembly. That one looks promising. They definitely perked up. Okay, cluck purr. Okay, excited yelp. Maybe that'll do it. Last chance here, yelp. Well, no engineered on-call gobbling today. Maybe another day. Goodbye, guys. Have a great day. Now I'm up here feeding the chickens. Look at this, guys. A bucket full of produce. Well, it's a bucket full of food scraps. I'm pretty excited about that because one, we went grocery shopping yesterday, so we cleaned out our fridge, so we had a lot of that. We also have a lot of uh, veggies off the land. So guys, this morning, I'm really excited. They've got seeds inside of this fruit. They've got plenty of greens from the, fr from the veggies. And then there's some meat scraps in here too. So they have all three of their food groups right here from the farm. Morning. Good morning. I might okay, sure. You got your bag? Oh, yep, I got the bag. Okay. I'll see you Okay, I'll get it. Okay. That's one thing we do with a lot of that produce is give it back to the chickens. Two, we eat a lot of it. And three, we give a lot of it away. We have some neighbors walking. I just offered them some. They're going to take some of these cucumbers today. Okay, I put the cucumbers on the slow man so she'll see them on her way back through. A quick but very orange breakfast. Some fruit from the grocery store yesterday, orange cantaloupe, and of course our eggs. We got a little bit of our onions in there and some side cabbage. What do you think, Brown? Is it pretty good? You really like this breakfast in particular, the peppers, the onions. Oh, there's some cheese in there too. Mm. We just saw the fire truck come by. Hey guys, we gotta try to get them to honk when they come by, okay? Make them honk, come on, do it, 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 do it. Look what I found. Isn't that beautiful? You'll never believe who drew that. Lily. Found that while we're cleaning the counter off, getting ready to try out our hand at dehydration. We're gonna wash it off, dry it off. Then what are we gonna do with it, honey? Slice it. Yeah. So here we are. Listen, you look, this is a crazy stainless steel lady replaced the plastic trays the for same. stainless steel ones. What is this model? This is an Excalibur. This is an Excalibur dehydrator. Yeah. We're also going to be able to make a paleo nut yeah. mix cereal, granola. Of, we can make granola. We can make, um, it just escaped me. Oh, fruit, re yeah. fruit leather. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm sure you can make that I've never made and I'm looking forward to yeah. making. And what are we going to use this uh, food processor for? We're going to shred some zucchini yes. and then freeze it. And guys, we'll link the stuff we're using in the description if you're interested in doing the same thing. So I have a feeling yeah. you're going to be a dehydration lady. Yeah, I've wanted a dehydrator for a really, 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 really long time. Glad that now I finally have an excuse to, to really get one. Hey, Beauty, how long is this going to take in the dehydrator? So I read six to seven hours, but it could be as many as 11. Hey, you look a little timid on this, this machine. Yeah. It seems like maybe you have a past. I do. That it's coming back to haunt you with this machine. I've cut my I've cut my fingers several times. Yeah, that's a little bit close, isn't it? You're gonna make banana bread with zucchini? Yeah, zucchini banana bread. Do you want me to get you more zucchini? I don't think so, no. Look, there's no loss here on the permaculture homestead. Bugged zucchini goes to the chickens. 
It looks like you're about ready to shut it up and turn it on. Is that true? That is true. Oh, cool. It's got a clear, clear front. I, so you I, can see yeah. the progress. Go read some books. Okay, now you're pushing buttons and you know what you're doing. So what are you doing? I do. I'm setting the temperature to 125. Okay. You figured out how to set the time? Yep. So I should probably do it at, I should probably start looking at it in seven hours. Is it working? Sweet. It's working. I like it. Now to the shredding. Look, this is why the big zucchinis are not ideal. Because they got a lot of softness in the middle. Spongy. Yeah. And we're going to turn that into chicken food. Uh, but it does take a little bit of time scooping that out. When Before, maybe we wouldn't have to if it was a smaller yeah. one. Okay. So we're going to scoop that out. But we're going to save the, the zucchini that, that we don't mind eating for ourselves. That's right. And shred it. And then we'll give what the chickens love to them. Beauty thought it would be a good idea to have somebody scooping and then somebody shredding. I delegate her to shredding. That's the more delicate job. And I'll do the brutality of scooping. This food processor was worth every penny. Oh uh, yeah? Like, that would have taken forever using the shredder. The so it was shredder. worth the 8,500 pennies, that's what you're telling me? That's right. Yes, $85, Bed, <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond. Use my 20% coupon. Yeah, it's probably yeah. even cheaper on Amazon. And now to the zucchini banana bread. Ew, what are we gonna do with these nasty black bananas? Well, we're gonna turn them to something beautiful. Banana bread. I definitely got the lousy duty here. Got to peel these nasty bananas. Beautiful one said, don't do the nasty ones. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out which ones are the nasty ones and which ones aren't. But look, they're not that bad in there. I guess. <laughs> it's gonna make good banana bread. I think the darker and the mushier they are, the better. Now I'm gonna mash it. Ooh. She wrung out all the zucchini, put it in a cloth, strained it out. Look, so doesn't that look delicious? Don't be deceived. But the chickens don't care. Okay, and then you just clumped it up in a bag. You're gonna stick it in the freezer like that? Uh, it's about two cups. And then what kind of recipe will you use with it? The zucchini hash we can do with this. I can thaw it out and put it in spaghetti. There's just like a lot of different things. I mean, you could probably just put this in That's anything, right. really. Yeah. You could make eggs and sprinkle mm. the, you could do it in quiches, frittatas. I mean, like the, it's really endless. Great, I'm gonna sign out of this particular episode of the Burn It Up cooking show with Mama and Papa Rhodes. She's gonna take over. She's gonna show you how to do a zucchini banana bread. Yeah. Paleo to boot, but not on this channel. Catch it on her channel. I'll link it when it's up. Oh my gosh, beauty. I know. No it's wonder. Amazing, it smells so good too. Did you see the banana bread? No. The zucchini Look. banana oh, okay. bread? Wait till you guys see this. You gotta see this, kids. Come here, Lily. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. I think this recipe could keep her. Yes, we'll link that recipe. And I'll share my recipe that I made it because this was just inspiration. Ooh. Mama said she needed some fried green tomatoes, so I'm going to get some. One, two, three, four. That's all of them. <coughs> Got it. Good. And the last one. Thanks, big guy. Yeah, you're welcome. How many did you get, man? He got a lot. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. You must really like fried green tomatoes. Mm -hmm. The Rhodes Kitchen is a happening place right now. Mom's cutting up this ugliest tomato I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Got it at the farmer's market yesterday, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna be delicious. Yep. And she's making a cucumber tomato salad. Got fried green tomatoes going. We've got zucchini boat leftovers. We've got the yummy banana, zucchini, banana bread going. It's taking forever to get cooked all the way in the middle. That's why we have the tin on it so it won't burn. She's got some iced coffee to go with the banana bread. Mmm. Here comes the dog rider. Woo! 
Oh my goodness, I think I've died and gone to heaven for real. Italian zucchini boats, cucumber and tomato salad. Oh, s fried green tomatoes. Just wrapping up the evening, and what a good way to wrap up the evening with some banana bread. Everybody's loving it, you loving that, Lily? Josiah? Oh look, even Mr. Brown's getting in on the action. You'll eat some of that, won't you? Oh yeah, and we got some guests, couldn't resist it. They were full from eating, but they still, they still, they found some room. We did, right? we did. Is it awesome? Delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> yes. What do you think, buddy? That's fantastic. I'm going to make room for more. Sweet. Quick, what's y'all's name and where are you from? I'm Dan and this is Milena. Milena from Charlottesville, Virginia. It's getting late. About to go to bed, but before I do, I got to show you this. The beautiful one has pulled the zucchini out. It looks like little flakes of zucchini. I know, it's so weird. 